Erika Stormhelm was born to a Viking father and an elven mother, the product of an unlikely union between two very different cultures. Her father was a fierce warrior who had sailed the treacherous seas for many years, raiding coastal towns and battling rival clans. Her mother was a highborn elf skilled in magic and diplomacy. They fell in a mad love, and a few years later they had a daughter named Erika and a son named Tanner. Years later, her father was injured in battle and couldn't continue the life of a warrior anymore, which made him depressed and turned to alcohol for consolation. Her father started abusing her mother and Erika herself. It started with yelling, but then turned violent at times, and he blamed them for getting injured in battle and not being able to fight again. He called them a distraction for a Viking warrior. Her mother ran away, taking her brother Tanel with her. She couldn't stand what a loser her father had become. She left Erika behind since she didn't want to take care of another child herself as she was selfish and liked her brother better. The last thing Erika heard is that her mother tried returning to her high elf clan. Erika's father, full of rage and not being able to fight or work, put all the pressure on Erika to provide for the both of them at times. He suggested Erika sell her body for a quick coin and instead chose the life of a rogue and started stealing things here and there to make ends meet. She quickly realized this wasn't a good life as she was constantly running away and fighting for her freedom. During her thief days, she met a young and sneaky but very well presented bugbear who initiated her into the life of a spy, a more decent way of making a living according to her. During her spy days, she worked for various clans gathering information on other factions to give her clan a tactical advantage. The one thing Erica couldn't leave from her father was the love for the water and the peace and joy the ocean brought her. Erica eventually became a spy for one of the ships near her hometown. She would gather information about other missions to hunt treasures and beat them to it or lead them the wrong way so her crew could get to the real treasure before anyone else. Erika was eventually captured by a big pirate crew and is now a slave serving the ship's captain. <laughs> After her mom left her behind, she hasn't felt joy or happiness. She believes life is unfair. And there is no reason to plan ahead because we are all going to die eventually or be disappointed with life itself. Deep down she yearns for answers from her mother as to why she left her with her abusive father. She won't admit she's looking for her mother and she hasn't spoken her name in decades. Her unstable life growing up made Erica live life one day at a time without a plan and always doing what is best for herself at that moment in time. She follows no rules and makes no strong connections with anyone because she feels they will disappoint her just like her family did. Go, Erica, find your place on this world and seek the answers that burn deep inside you. Good luck and Godspeed, my dear.